Good morning. This is for 8th grade, session 5. We are looking at the four marks of the Catholic Church. This is These marks mean what makes the Church be the true Church, how we are sure that this is the Church that uh, God wants us to be a part of. So you'll be um, reading this and then filling out the questions based on the reading. You should find everything you need in the reading to answer the questions. That's true over here as well, reading from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. And these are the paragraph numbers. You can find that online or you can find that in a book, but it's also right here in your book uh, as well. But it, it comes from the Catechism. Just pick one of these reflecting on holiness. Any of these five questions, pick one and write down a reflection upon that. Here are some beautiful portraits of Mary. Uh, these are all wonderful from different parts of the world. Uh, this is from my favorite painter as well, the Virgin of the Lilies. And then the third mark of the church is Catholic, and this is one where you're going to need some, uh, some help from me here. So you can copy what I have here. Uh, the third mark of the church is that she is Catholic, which means universal, because Christ is present in her. She offers salvation uh, for all people everywhere. Uh, Christ gathers all people into the people of God, which is another name for the church. At his ascension, he said, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, and we need to bear witness to the love of Christ in our lives. Here is a picture of Christ delivering the keys to St. Peter, our first pope, and this painting is from the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City. And then looking at the uh, scripture reflections, looking at the authority of the apostles, our first bishops, you can go ahead and give uh, a, a particular power that Christ gave to them that's specified in the scripture reading. You can write that down right here uh, for each of those scripture verses. Thank you and God bless you.